Lahi. You're gonna be the opening scene. Do something. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Vlog number six. <laughs> Welcome, Vinny Fitness over here, Rose of 200. I'm 198 pounds. You're gonna see it right over here. Hopefully, by tomorrow when I weigh myself, it's gonna be that. Nice yep. Actually? I don't mind. Thanks for the observation. You were in a fucking tablecloth. <laughs> She's gonna kill me. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we're making tacos. Yo, what's up, babe? How you doing? I'm pretty good. How are you? What are you doing right now? <laughs> what I'm doing right now, I'm chopping some peppers. You're making that guaco? Or the guaca? Oh shit. Why are these like mini split? I know. Oh, it's the same thing. Yeah, well, it's exactly. Mmm, yeah. so good. <laughs> Ooh, chappy, I got chappy. Chappy. Dang it. Oh my god. We're making it. Oh my god. Oh my god, watch the cat. The, know, know the vegan half. The ve that's the vegan half. That's for that one guy right there. Yep. All that green yeah. apple. Oh my boy. 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 Keep it clean. Oh shit, where's that wink? Where's that, where's that wink, Abe? You can't wink. <laughs> Nick! You're gonna be on the next vlog. Oh, finally, man. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you enjoying that burrito? Broken ass tortillas, motherfucker. Time to hug. <laughs> oh, no! oh my god! Blood section! Oh my god. Oh my god. No, Vince, you can. No. No, you're gonna. No. No! You wanna have 9 on speed dial? I got legitimately dangerous. I do not. Oh my god. That's you're gonna choke. Oh my god. It's all bae. <laughs> yeah. What the f what? <laughs> what Which one is it? Yeah. It's hot <laughs> sauce. It's a Chipotle <laughs> hot sauce? He's a pussy. It says hot here. She was dying with one drop and I can't feel the heat at all. Because I'm weird. <laughs> Legit, it's that second with me. Moi, c'est que t'as rien fait. Ah, t'as marre n'importe quand tu peux te faire ça dans un vlog à Vincent, hein? That's horrible. Horrible. Très très bonne idée. Ah, I need to escape the, our little French sesh that we're having uh, because I'm friends with a lot of musicians, aka singers, uh, and right now they're just going through a freaking uh, high school musical right now. So I need to find a quiet spot. We just finished with taco, aka burrito night, because we didn't have taco shells, we just had tortilla wraps, which was okay, it's still delicious. I love it. Again, I'm a foodie, I love food. And unfortunately, with this weight gain, I 
uh, some may think that I get to enjoy food, but again, I'm not. It's not about savoring. It's about getting the necessary intake of calor uh, calories and then uh, my macros, such as carbs, protein, fats, blah 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 blah. Okay. Um, again. I'm trying to gain weight, we all know this, I'm trying to get to 200 pounds, and when I do, I need to maintain that weight so that I know it's not water retention and anything else, and that I know from that body weight I had accumulated muscle mass. And just because you gain weight does not necessarily mean you gained muscle mass, it could be fat mass as well. When I get to 200 pounds, which I know I'm plus 195 now, I want to maintain that. But I've also had like opinions from other trainers and bodybuilding coaches saying that Maybe I should actually pass 200 and go to 215 because they believe that if I'm at 200 pounds and then I, I do my little crash diet, I won't be at the necessary body fat percentage while still trying to keep plus 180 pounds, which is what I assume should be my uh, bodybuilding competition weight. So maybe I should go to 215 pounds or even more than that. That's the issue with me. I, I, I find that very difficult. I'm already having enough time, hard time trying to get to 200 pounds. Gaining weight. It cannot be fast, it, can, it needs to be proper, it needs to be slow. And the reason why it needs to be slow is because you can guide yourself a little better that way. You can make sure that you're having the necessary protein intake from your meats or protein shakes or anything else you, you want to be uh, ingesting. And in order to encourage that, my weight train needs to be intense enough where my muscles are in need of a large amount of protein. Um, so I have decided to do powerlifting, or at least an aspect of powerlifting. I wouldn't call myself a hardcore powerlifter right now, but I am taking a larger amount of breaks in between sets. My sets themselves are around three to six reps. Um, I'm actually very proud of me. If I'm gonna link an Instagram video right here, as you can see, I'm actually going to be doing. I am doing 275 pounds and also a 285 pound chest press. I have a spotter. Um, his name is Candine, also another trainer, you can look him up, he's a very chill guy, he works at the, my gym. But yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm still debating, should I do a crash diet at 200, or should I do, continue on to 215 pounds? Actually, you know, I'd like to hear your opinion, so if you want to, you can leave a comment down below so you can give me your opinion. If you're a fitness enthusiast, if you're a trainer, you're a nutritionist, if you know anything about it, by all means, leave a, a, a comment. Tomorrow, aka the next scene, I'm gonna be going to do leg day. Let's go and transition to that. Let me, uh, let me just take that edge of the, uh, the, the screen the, and just move it that way. <laughs> All right, so this is your goblet squat. As you can see right here, I like this exercise to help with the deadlifts because the weight is in front of my body, and so therefore my posterior ch chain, aka the muscles on the backside, help to compensate my balance. It's a great way to improve upon your deadlift, especially when you go higher with weights. The next exercise is the back extension. Normally, most people can do with this your simple body weight, but with more advanced lifts, or if you want to improve on your deadlift overall, you should add weight to it. Your lower back is isolated, but when you start to actually add weight, your glutes and your hamstrings come to take some of that effort off, and they work all in unison. I do like this, especially at the end of a leg workout, just to, as a finisher, and it helps overall. The next exercise is a front squat, just like the goblet squat. I am showing you two ways to hold it. If you have flexibility in your wrists, this is one way to do it. If you don't, crossing over your arms is another way to hold the bar in the front of you. And just like the kettlebell, it's simply just the weight in front of you. And so it allows the body to engage more of the lower back, glutes, and overall back chain to uh, posterior chain to help with the lift in order for you not to fall forward and also so that the posterior chain is more affected by the movement. This is just with weights. Again, you want to make sure that heels stay on the floor in order for this to be proper and with the form not compromising your joints. The next exercise is a simple kettlebell squat, but with a deadlift variant to it. Um, I'm just simply bending my knees as a squat, but I'm also bending over just so that my lower back can take some of that effort. I also am trying to push that kettlebell forward as you can see, but also with that kettlebell, you could do kettlebell swings. I'm not just simply lifting the weight in a swinging motion, I am thrusting my glutes forward to propel that weight forward into a swing. That kettlebell, sorry. So again, it's for explosive energy and a good way to help with the acceleration of your deadlift, especially if momentum is not your thing. Tire flip, not normally found in most 
gyms, but at Apex, you can definitely find two of them. This one, it helps with a compound exercise. Your, in, the entirety of your body is being used in this exercise. And I love it because it's explosive, it tests out the strength in your muscles, and it allows your entire body to learn how to work together. The next exercise is a prowler. This one I do specifically where I try to stay low and I take my legs far in front of me into, into a very forward lunge. That allows my glutes to take that initial effort before my legs take the rest. I, I, what I mean by that is basically your glutes are more involved. The last one that I wanted to show is the deadlifts but with a twist, resistance bands on either uh, side. and. A heightened stance and I'm stopping midway to eliminate momentum from happening a great to work with the improvement of your deadlift sorry that wasn't the last exercise this is the last exercise the clean again another way uh, to work the entirety of your body a compound exercise explosiveness and it utilizes a coordination among the joints making sure you don't you do not compromise them again I'm not really practicing clean so I do apologize for the form but this pretty much is a way to do them now with all these exercises they could help you improve on your deadlifts especially the next time you go into the gym definitely encourage volume volume is key and progressive overload if you haven't found that I'm also gonna make another video on that to show you how you can improve on your strength overall this is the lovable gym owner Sasha he's showcasing a heavy deadlift just to give a reference to all those exercise he is lifting 495 something that's very easy for him just showing you how a pilot does it he's getting his composure his sense of up, setting himself up making sure he is glued to the ground so as you can see his chest is pulled up with one full swoop that deadlift so that is it for today's video if you have any comments issues concerns leave a comment down below if you liked it to show me your support please leave a like if you didn't well sorry for wasting your time other than that new vlogs are out every wednesday i'm going to leave a link to my social media right over here and as always everyone stay beautiful